How are you doing folks? It's Joe Value here on Friday evening with three selections for tomorrow and uh, two that I think have obviously big big chances but a little bit of risk involved in two of them and then uh, one just a, spe a speculative uh, go ash but uh, not none that well it's, I was meant to have a horse run on the service today but uh, the meeting was abandoned which is a little bit unfortunate but uh you know, I don't think I'll have anything over the weekend. Now I know Paddy's pretty strong on the horse tomorrow. at head two horses at head up tomorrow actually. So you know, it'll be a big day for the service and uh, best of luck with that. I hope it goes really well. Uh, so myself, uh, going on to my YouTube channel, uh, I'd not in there. Today, I don't think no. So three tomorrow, uh, twelve o'clock at Navin, uh, is a horse actually owned by good friends of mine. Uh, Mick and Eamon O'Shea are involved in this horse and it's called Ebisari. This horse was uh, a replacement for a horse they owned previously called Silver Star who uh, done very well for him to got a good bit of crack out of him but uh, he kind of went off the boil you know he was good enough to be quoted by Paddy Power in the Arkle at one stage the, the Arkle that uh, Shishkin won so um, you know he was a decent uh, horse in his day but things didn't really pan out for him and uh, He's running over Lingdon now at the moment. Uh, but um, Ebisari, he is, he looks to be a very good replacement indeed. He was very impressive uh, down in Cork when he got the better of a horse called Adamantly Chosen. Uh, and then for a four-year-old to do that to a horse that, uh, you know, is, is well thought of by Willie, Willie Mullins, I thought uh, there was a serious performance and maybe there could be a bit more to come. So uh, he runs in the 12 o'clock at Navin tomorrow and the very best of luck to the two boys uh, Eamon and Mikko uh, it's great that they have a really good horse and I hope he can go and prove now tomorrow he's 11-4 to 4 there at the moment 5-2, 11-4 to 4, and I stick him in there as a point win not an easy race uh, you know there's, you can't really take uh, the standard of horse for granted that he's running against but uh, you know hopefully he turns out to be a right one you know and uh, tomorrow looks a, a nice uh, place for him to go in Navin. <clears throat> so that's him at 12 o'clock and then in the 145 this is my kind of speculative uh, pick horse by the name of Phils Dudares. Now this horse used to be trained by Joseph O'Brien and he was very very good over fences early on. He, he, he gave a what do you call that good horse Envoy Allen well, when he was really good uh, last year he gave, he gave him a, a fair race there one time and he could have been around punches time you know he was only beaten about three lengths but uh, he made uh, Envoy Allen work a bit before Envoy Allen kind of went off the boil. And uh, I, t <clears throat> I thought it was very interesting. When I first seen this, I said, oh, Joseph O'Brien has a runner Ascot tomorrow. And then I was thinking, well, I looked at it, obviously, and saw Nicky Henderson has him now. But because I knew that uh, Joseph O'Brien is kind of cutting back on his national hunt horses, you know. So, uh, yeah, first run for Nicky. Now, look, he could need a run or something like that. So that's why I'm just going small. I'll have a point each way and they are 10 to 1 and hope for the best. I'm just saying that the ground will be testing tomorrow and he won't mind that. And around two and a half mile around Ascot, like just perfect for him. If he's ready to roll, now he could need to run. That's why I'm just sticking him in there at a double figure price uh, that he could outrun them odds if all is good. And then uh, my last selection of the day is the 325 at Navin, a horse by the name of Routine Excellence. Now he's very, very short with the green bookie, but it's 13 to 8 in with uh, the bet 365 I think it's fair enough uh, this horse looked a totally different proposition when he ran over hurdles there in uh, an un it's called a non-place madness for no it was a really weak enough for us anyway and um, this lad made, made short work of uh, his opposition interesting enough though the runner up has since gone on to win so there's nothing wrong with that form and he just looked a totally different horse uh, his point to point run is savage so Going over fences now tomorrow. He did run over him last year in Don Patrick when he was well supported, but uh, he was a bit disappointing. So that's why I'm a little bit wary of going too hard on him tomorrow. But I'll stick him in there as well uh, for a one point win. It's the 325 at Navin Horse by the name of Routine Excellence. So look, there's three for tomorrow. Uh, they could be lively. Hopefully they are. Hopefully they all win. I think the Shabbat pays uh, over 100 to 1 or something like that. Maybe more. I'd I can't remember now what added up, but I just went there for two quid in there, so please God, fingers crossed. Don't know where home fixed tomorrow evening. Uh probably might be on. I'll see. I don't know. 
uh, for something there for Sunday. Hopefully there is. If not, I'll probably talk to you uh, Monday morning because uh, I'm going out Sunday. I'm going to enjoy myself. All right, so that's it. Joe Value for Cold Bear Sports. Best of luck if you're following. Bet safe as always and enjoy the sport. Oh, Shishkin tomorrow, lads. Uh, I see the betting's gone a bit closer now. It's only, uh, like, there's not much between between uh, Shishkin and Argumin. Like, uh, it's going to be something else, isn't it? I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I won't get a wink of sleep tonight thinking about it. All right, good luck. I'll talk to you. All the best.